Hi everyone, this is Mokoy Soliman of Mokoy Vlogs. I'm a traveler and a certified free diver coach and today I'll be giving you 5 important things that you should know about Insta360 1X2. Anyway, if you are a free diver just like me or a scuba diver or maybe just an occasional swimmer and if you do have one of these Insta360 camera or are planning to buy one of these, this video is for you. I've been using this Insta360 ONE X2 for quite some time now. He's been with me whenever I'm traveling. So I'm going to show you guys a few important things that I want you guys to know before you use one of these cameras. By the way, if it's the first time you've visited me here on my YouTube channel, I would appreciate if you would like this video and click the subscribe button just so you wouldn't miss any of my newest uploads. It would just take a few minutes of your time, but it means a lot to me. Anyway, I'm not going to take too much of your time. Let's go ahead and start. I've been receiving a lot of questions whether or not Insta360 ONE X2 is waterproof. Well, to answer that question, according to Insta360, it is waterproof up to 10 meters depth. And before use, you need to make sure that the USB and the battery cover are well sealed. And yes, there are several issues about the water getting inside of the camera and I am fully aware of that. That is why my first tip to you guys is to always make sure to have a dive case whenever you are using your camera underwater. Well, as for me, I am using this Insta360 dive case. It's a dome type dive case and it can go deeper up to 50 meters. A lot of time I go deeper than 10 meters without me even knowing, so it's a must for me to really have one of these dive case. Number two, how to properly use Insta360 ONE X2 with a dome type underwater dive case. Before I answer that question, I'm going to show you on how to set up this camera with the dive case. And by the way, if uh, you haven't watched my unboxing video, if you wanted to know more what's inside of this box, you may click the link here or on the description of this video. So let's remove this uh, dome type dive case on this very cute tripod. Okay, let's set it aside from a place where it's safe. And I guess that's that's my heart. <laughs> let's keep it here. And let's remove the camera from this selfie stick. And that's it. Let's set it aside. And let's attach this dive case on the selfie stick. And then let's open the dive case. Let's remove the top cover of the case. Then let's put the camera inside. By the way, if you are using a lens cover which is attached on your camera, you have to remove it first in order for you to be able to put your camera inside of the dive case because it won't fit. I assure you that. Then the locks. So now let's go ahead and answer the question how to properly use Insta360 ONE X2 with a dive case. So first thing that you need to do is to tilt your camera in front of you, just like this. And then extend the pole or the selfie stick. <laughs> and then just press the start button to start recording. It would turn on if you long press the uh, start button and then stretch your arms. Not this one, but this one. <laughs> Just like that. And say hi to the camera. No 
number three. I'm receiving a lot of questions as to why the pole or the invisible stick is showing on my TikTok videos. As you are now aware, when using the camera with this type of dive case, you need to tilt the camera in front of you. And unfortunately, tilting the camera will defeat the purpose of the invisible stick feature. I know it's sad, but it's true. Number four, if you are transferring your files from another external memory, you will notice that there are multiple folders that would appear, and that is normal. You need to copy all those folders. If you miss any of those folders, unfortunately, you will not be able to edit or reframe your video, and that's going to be a nightmare. So do not forget, copy everything. Last but not least, number five. So someone from TikTok commented on one of my underwater videos and she said that don't tilt the cam, dapat nakalain yung cam sa stick, straight lang, para invisible siya. Well, it's actually not a question but rather a suggestion. So basically, this person is suggesting not to tilt the camera whenever you're using it and it should be aligned with the pole or with the stick so that it would be invisible. Well, if you are using this type of dive case, unfortunately, that is not applicable to me. I am not sure exactly uh, what type of dive case she is using, so I cannot say that that's incorrect. However, I did exactly what she suggests when I visited one of the tourist destinations we have here in, in the Philippines. Sorry, Kapampana. And this is the outcome. So unfortunately, the dive case hid me from the camera simply because the bottom part of this dive case will become visible and as of today, there is no way to remove that. So once again, it's a must to tilt the camera in front of you whenever you are using it as I advised earlier. And that's it for me today. I hope I managed to set up your expectations about this Insta 361 X2. And of course, I don't want you guys to have the same mistakes as I did. That's why I'm sharing this video with you. By the way, if you wanted to purchase this Insta 361 X2 or any Insta 360 products, you can just click the link on the description of this video. If you've learned something from me today, please share this video to your friends. And if you wanted to show your love and support to this channel, Please like this video and click the subscribe button. It would just take a few minutes of your time, but it means a lot to me. So, 
Paano ba yan? See you again soon. Stay safe and have a wonderful start of the year. Happy New Year, everyone. See ya! Thank you.